Hey there, welcome to, or welcome back, to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard, and I'm coming today from the Carnival Mardi Gras, but I'm coming to you from a restaurant that's on the Mardi Gras, the Celebration, and the Jubilee. It's called Rudy's Sea Grill. I have eaten here one time before, and it was a very bad experience by something that was completely out of their control. The register system went down and they were doing everything by hand and it, it took a long time. And I know tonight is going to be a lot better. Um, so this is Rudy's Sea Grill. What this is, is it's essentially a Holland America restaurant transported onto a carnival ship. You see, there's a chef, his name is Rudy. Uh, Rudy, Rudy Soderman, who is the Carnival America's, uh, not Carnival, in Holland America, uh, executive chef. Uh, and this is his seafood restaurant that they put on Carnival to kind of bring a little taste of Holland to Carnival. So we're going to be doing all the courses. So we're going to get a starter, soup, salad, entree, uh, and a dessert. And we're going to do six or seven of the cocktails. We're going to rank them and everything like that. So I invite you to join along for the next 45 minutes or so um, as we go through this. Unfortunately, this sailing, I am on my own, but we're going to be with a lot of friends um, coming up in other videos this cruise. But tonight, just on my own. So come along as we experience a Rudy's Sea Grill and six or seven of their cocktails. We got lobster, lobster, more lobster, and, and then cheesecake. It's, it's, it's gonna be a very lobster day. And look, fun little plates. But we'll talk about each of the courses as they come and each of the drinks as they come. So bon appetit. And hey, if you want a drink or eat along with me, good luck. But we'll talk about them in just a moment's time. So as they say, when it rains, it pours. So we're at Rudy's Sea Grill here on the Carnival XL class ships. And they have on board, um, they have their own cocktail menu. So I figured why not try as many as we can. This one is called the Port of Margarita. What's unique about it is it's a margarita with a 1800 silver tequila, agave, fresh lime juice, but it's topped with port wine. Ooh, that's good. Kind of gets a little interaction when it mixes. Mm. Perfecto. It's a good drink. Port of Margarita. Mac and cheese just came out. The lobster mac and cheese. And you can see it's literally boiling out of the oven the lights in here are really weird i apologize for that but nothing much i can do about that but it's literally came right out of the boiler because they were melting the mac and cheese but here's the question the real question is is it any good and uh i'll let you know the answer to that in about uh, four seconds or so let's see i do see I see lobster meat on there. Mm -hmm. It's actually very good. That first cocktail was great. The, uh, what was that? The Port of Margarita. But uh, we're going next for a Tropical Smash, which uh, we'll talk about that. But not too fishy, very lobstery. Um, we'll talk about in a minute. I did get another um, for my next course. I got uh, it's lobster, shrimp, and crab, I think. And a bisque. It's not just a lobster bisque, it's like a shellfish bisque. Now, one criticism there was originally a really cute bowl that was a lobster that this was served inside of. It doesn't seem like they have those anymore, at least on this ship. When I was here the first time, uh, I got served in, that was on the Celebration, or I don't know if it was the Celebration or the Jubilee. I think it was the Celebration. Got served in a little lobster dish, which was cute. But uh, they don't seem to have that anymore. But I'm going to finish some of my lobster mac and cheese. And I'll get back to you with the next drink and uh, our next dish. Still working on the, on the bread, too. I have a feeling this is going to be a lot of food. That's all I'm saying. 
All right, so we are at Rudy's Sea Grill on Carnival's XL class of ships, and they have their own cocktail menu. You can only get it here. And this one is called the Tropical Smash. What's in it? Uh, Bacardi Superior Rum, Malibu Coconut Rum, Appleton Estate Rum, there's a lot of rum, uh, pineapple juice, orange juice, Angostura bitters, and a splash of starry, you know? Oh, it smells tiki. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Any tiki bar would be proud to have this drink. I know, it seems like the ingredients are really simple here. And they are, but they work. And those bitters are what makes it tiki. It's a good drink. Tropical Smash, Rudy Seagro, Celebration Mardi Gras and Jubilee for now. All right, so this is the seafood bisque. Oh, they got some smoke there. Oh, shrimp, lobster, and crab meat in that seafood bisque. So it's like a lobster bisque, but with some added stuff. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, very cool. But the real question is, is it any good? I don't expect it to be bad. I'm just saying, is it any good? We got some, like, speckles of stuff on the inside. Mmm. Again, I don't expect it to be bad. But is it any good? Ooh. We actually got nice big chunks of something in there. Lobster or crab. Oh, that's good. That's actually, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go on on a limb. It's actually better than the lobster bisque at Murano on Celebrity Cruises. I've only had that maybe a hundred times. I like the whole you know, the lobster, see, the lobster crab and shrimp. Uh, some people would say that, you know, I'm shellfish, but I don't think I am. That's a damn good lobster bisque. I'll finish that in peace. I'm still working on my bread and uh, two cocktails down. If I have to really decide, I would put uh, so far, so far. I would put the um, the the uh, tropical smash over the port of Margarita, but we'll see how many of these we can do. We got about an hour until we gotta leave here, but uh, we'll get a couple more drinks. Stay tuned. But I am gonna finish my lobster, crab, and shrimp bisque, and then I have lobster stuff with crab coming up. I know it's a lot of lobster. It's okay. I like lobster. You know, lobster was once a food for prisoners, and then bougie people thought it tasted good, so. Now it's no longer a food for prisoners. Just so you know. All right, so we are here at Rudy's Sea Grill on the XL class of carnival ships. Celebration, Mardi Gras, and Jubilee. And now I've got another drink called the Marseille Spritz, which has a rosé, Dom Esti, which I believe is champagne, uh, Michel Brut, club soda, and thyme. And look, we got nothing but thyme here. It's in the glass. Um, Oh, smells champagne. So these are exclusive drinks that you can only get in Ruby Zero. Dirty secret, they share a bar with uh, Cucina del Capitano. It's right behind the wall over there, behind that door. But it's a good drink. Not my favorite. If you like champagne, that's pretty good. It's a lot of champagnes and a lot of wines together. The um, Marseille Spritz. Not gonna lie, this next course looks super unique. It is crab stuffed lobster. I know, right? Take a look. Literally, the, the top part of this guy right here. I'm gonna move the carrots. The top part of this guy is crab with cheese and al gratin and everything like that. And the bottom part is actually a lobster tail and it's served inside of the, the lobster looking thing right there. So here's the question, how is it? It does come along with butter, but you might not need the butter for the top part. Let's see, this is the crab. The only thing I have to compare this with in St. Lucia, there's a place, no, not St. Lucia, sorry, St. Kitts, 
There's a place that does crab stuffed shrimp that I used to go to when I worked on ships. Um, mm. Yeah. Let's, let's get in here. Oh. Not floor lobster, Kirsten. Not floor lobster. Ah. It's so good it doesn't need the butter. Let's try some more crab. Where's the crab? Hmm. I know this will sound weird to say, but crab's a little fishy. It should be. Just letting you know. And you've even got, just to show you, they like scooped out some of the lobster here where there wouldn't really be much uh, edible lobster parts and put the crab in there. We got the butter. We got the carrots. Look at all that. What's that? Oh, that's just an onion. But yeah, took the claws off. But you really do have a lobster right there. And he said, hello, nice to meet you. Crab stuffed lobster. It's pretty good. Again, the crab's a little fishy if you don't like uh, if you don't like crab. And look, let's be honest with you. Um, this is all frozen. Has to be. Just per USDA. And... That's some good crab, though. And some good lobster tail. It's like what you get at the steakhouse, but um, you got the crab thrown in there, too. You can get surf and turf here as well. That is an option. There's a lot of other fish options. I make crab and lobster kai because, much like I think I made the joke on the last tours, I'm kind of shellfish. Yeah, I said it. I'm going to finish this. We're going to have a couple more drinks. And then it's time for our just desserts. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right, so I love sangria. And I got to be honest with you, Carnival is one of the few brands that has sangria across all their bars. On Royal, you got to go digging for it. On Celebrity, you got to go digging for it. But here at Rudy's Sea Grill, which is on the Celebration, Jubilee, and Mardi Gras, they have a different sangria. It's the Sea Grill. It's a seafood grill. Sangria. Uh, it's white sangria with mint, fresh citrus, and tropical fruits. I generally like red sangria more, but is this any good? I mean, honestly, it drinks like a sangria had sex with a mojito. Yeah, the mint really makes it mojito-y and citrusy. Ooh, that's a good drink. Ooh. We're going to Rudy's Sea Grill. Get the Sea Grill Sangria. It's good. All right, so it is now time for dessert. We had lobster overload. The first three courses were all lobster. And for the last course, you see what they've got. It's like all these plates that are like creatively designed and stuff like that. And they have one that's real. This is the key lime pie and look it's actually like designed with a face it's so cute um i love it you know I, I love creativity i love differentness and what you've got to say is what you've seen tonight is different it's not something you've seen elsewhere before it's on three ships in the world i'll tell you this this harkens back some of the fun and some of the weirdness in this restaurant harkens back to my days of enjoying cuisine on celebrity q-s-i-n-e not as good i really hope there's a restaurant the, the only thing that's even close i think it's in miami it's called barton cheese the only thing that's even close to cuisine um but uh yeah this is a really really cute dish and uh we've had four drinks so far getting on number five within this uh last hour it's 6.33, I checked in at like 5.33. Um, so this is the, uh, what is this one? Smooth Seas. I was told this is a good one, and then I got one more for an after-dinner drink. Um, but this is the Smooth Seas. Mm, okay. Ooh, that's good. Oh, <coughs> the hell is in there? Star Rum. Ah, it's another watermelon drink. It's a damn another watermelon drink. Love me some watermelon drinks. That's all I'm saying. I'm gonna have a smooth season. Come back for some cheesecake uh, taste with you. I haven't, it just looks so pretty, it's hard to touch. That's all I'm saying. 
All right, so we are here at Rudy's Sea Grill. This is on the Carnival Mardi Gras celebration and Jubilee, and we've got a unique drink. Smooth Seas, it matches my shirt, look at that. It's like there's, it's just water, and it's matching my shirt. The Smooth Seas, what is it? It is star rum, fresh watermelon, watermelon syrup, lime juice topped with ginger beer. Mm. Holy crap, that's smooth. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. Ooh. It's gonna be number two right after the uh, Tropical Smash. Tropical Smash has more alcohol in it, but. If you're on a cruise ship during hurt, ooh, you got a bite at the bottom. Good bite. If you're on a cruise ship during hurricane season, ah, uh, that's strong. Wish for smooth seas. Right, so is this cheesecake any good? That's the real question. It looks good. Not cheesecake, sorry. It's the key lime pie. I say cheesecake because intrinsically I love cheesecakes. Um, but I do love key lime pie too. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. So here's what's unique. It's really fluffy. And I say that in a good way. Mmm, that's delicious. Yeah. I have an after dinner drink coming, which a lot of people would think that the uh, port of margarita is an after dinner drink. No, there's one here called uh, Island Spices. It's got Bacardi Spice Rum, chocolate liqueur, topped with whipped cream and nutmeg. Uh, I will tell you, all of these cocktails are $12. If you do have the drink package or you have drinks on us everywhere provided by the casino, they are. Um, Included, we'll go with the word. You know, a lot of people say, you know, if you cruise on the casino, you're not cruising for free, you're just prepaid for your cruise. You're not wrong. It's about what you play. Mm. That's good. Um, that's a really good you know, pine. Like, I don't know if it's a big bar, but um, probably the best I've had outside of the Keys. Yeah, yeah. And everything on this plate should be edible. I mean, we got uh, strawberry here. See? Mm, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another strawberry. There's these little mysterious chocolate O's with an eyeball, I rolled it off of that one. Maybe it tastes like a chocolate covered strawberry. Mmm. Got one more drink. I'm finished here. Is that key wine? Honestly. Let me have the last drink and we'll talk about them. My feelings on those are positive. They're positive. The maitre d' came by, I told even the waiter, I told the waiter about the last time I had trouble. It took me three hours to go here, um, hour and a half. So far? Um, not even, no, hour and 15 so far. We'll be out of here long before hour and a half. All right, so it is the end. We have finished dessert and we've got a dessert cocktail. This is Island Spices. It's got a uh, uh, chai, chai, chills or cha which I think is a liqueur of some sort. Uh, Bacardi Spice Rum, chocolate liqueur topped with whipped cream and nutmeg. It is a dessert drink to have after dessert. Mm. And I guess when I finish this, I must ask you a question. Mm. It's a great after dinner drink. Island Spices is only at Fruity Seagro on the um, Mardi Gras celebration and Jubilee. Sorry, must ask you a question. That's all I'm saying. I guess I'm going for Santa Claus auditions now. All right, so Rudy's Sea Grill. I'm out front. Here's the honest truth. Ain't nobody paying me to say this or anything like that. The first time I went, like I said, Bit of a disaster, not really their fault, but took three hours to eat there. I enjoyed Rudy's Sea Grill. Uh, I don't love seafood, but I 
love lobster. It's a lot of lobster. Final drink rankings. Tropical Smash, number one. Port of Margarita, number two. Island Spices, number three. Smooth Seas, number four. Uh, sea Grill Sangria, number five. And the Marcel Spritz, number six. You might say, hey, there's 10 drinks, and this guy only drank six of them. Well, I mean, six drinks in an hour and 20 minutes is uh, pretty much good. The thing is, the other four are kind of, those ingredients are able to be found elsewhere. Um, I did enjoy Rudy Seagrill. I did enjoy it the first time. Honestly, the second time I had a book, the casino did it for me and I slept through it, but um, I did enjoy it. I thought it was really, really, really a very good restaurant. It doesn't seem like it belongs on a carnival ship. I say that honestly. I mean, you could put that on Celebrity Royal Caribbean, probably charge 60, 70 bucks for it instead of 50. If you're gonna book it, do yourself a favor, pre-book it, pre-book it. Then it's only 49 bucks, including your tip. Um, if you book it on board, you pay the tip on top of it. So essentially, you're saving 18% by pre-booking your dinner. This is Richard from No Pants Profits. We did the food, we did the drinks, we did everything at Rudy Seagram. And it was good. 10 out of 10 experience. Again, Richard from No Pants Profits reminding you that when you wear no pants, guys, I think you know the only thing you have left loose is your shirt. Have a great one, and I'll see you for some other bars, restaurants, things like that as we go on this cruise on the Carnival Mardi Gras. But yeah, this restaurant is on the Mardi Gras, the Celebration, and the Jubilee. Have a great one. And remember, when you're in a pants, the only thing I left to lose is your shirt. Bye!